guys, Andy Quadrants Calumet. Uh, this is going to be the part two series of the Hornet that we started last time. Uh, what I'd like to discuss with you guys is the system in itself and its benefits, where it's used, how it's used, and truly how we think about this pump as the heart of our systems. So let's get started. Like I said, this will be all benefits. This will be kind of putting the pump through, the drum setup, the tote setup, a mini bulk setup, hose reel, things of that nature. So we're gonna be highlighting those for you here in just a second. So follow me to the back, we'll go and check it out. Okay, so let's let's get started. The W85 Hornet pump that the Calumet manufactures uh, fits in such a wide range of uh, capabilities, products, systems, things of that nature. So early on in DEF, what were we seeing? We were seeing 55 gallon drums, right? You guys remember how we all got started? This this was the staple back in the day. Everybody was getting pumps for a 55 gallon drum, whether it was something 110, whether it was a piston pump, a rotary pump, whatever that, that, that may have been. This was kind of like the bulk of the business back in 2010 as we got started. And what happened was that we graduated and we continued to move and evolve from something like this to an IBC tote like what you see on here. So this is the Hornet hanging on the tote. You guys should already know how to get the thing set up from the first video if you haven't. There'll be a link at the bottom so you can just kind of follow that. But essentially what's happened is we went from a 55 gallon drum to an IBC tote, okay, uh, to something even bigger than that. And, and one thing that you have to notice is we haven't changed the design, we haven't changed the pump because we knew from the very beginning that the pump was able to handle small applications like this light duty all the way to a larger application like this and something perhaps even larger as a 6,000 gallon tank. So I have one right behind me, so let's go check it out. So as the industry matured and bulk sort of you know became more of a prominent uh, type of setup, need, demand from customers and such, you know, not only do we develop you know mini bulk tank systems, but again you find the same pump being able to handle larger volumes. So again, we went from a 55 gallon drum to a tote, to an 800 gallon tank, to a 6,000 gallon tank. So I wanna to explain to you a little bit on the technical side, why the pump is so special to us and why it's so special to our existing customer base. So we understand the technologies of a vein pump, a centrifugal pump. What if I told you that this pump was both? Okay, so let me explain to you how this works. Inside this system, we have a little rotary uh, applicator that has uh, teeth on it. So as the pump dials up, it becomes a vein pump because it has such a strong suction capability. If this is set up right now in an 800 gallon tank. That's about 10 feet high. That's not a problem whatsoever for this pump. Some of our competitors can't go past four or five feet. So again, Going back to the benefits, uh, a little punchy on the pump. It is gonna be about 10 feet here, not a problem at all for this system. Can we have something taller and still pull from where it sits right now? Absolutely yes. The other thing that's so important, and it's kind of a big seller, I guess, kind of a, a great conversational piece every time I sit with you guys and have meetings is, this thing can actually empty a 6,000 gallon tank nonstop, I mean, continuous, duty cycle. This is something that you don't have to stop every 15 minutes. It's not something you have to stop every 20, every 30 minutes. Just turn on the pump, make sure you got fluid running through it, let it run. I mean, this thing will go and transfer 6,000, 10,000 gallons, whatever that volume may be, all the way from one tank to your customer's yard, to a different tank, to a delivery truck, whatever that may be. So note that, that it's extremely important to understand that it is the only pump that is a continuous duty cycle setup. So the last thing I want to highlight before we move on to the accessories and other things is the built-in thermal overload. Forget the timers. Forget all the other stuff that you know about. So you come in, you turn on the pump. Let me show you. This is the new button design that we have. All off position. You're going to turn it on, right? You're going to go ahead and start dispensing. You walk away. Okay? You empty. You leave the pump running. What's going to happen? As soon as the pump begins sensing heat, it's gonna turn off itself, okay? That's built into the pump as is already. So what happens next is I come back, you know? The new design is you simply toggle off and back on to reset the pump and you're up and running again. As simple as that. Let's go inside. 
the whole thing about being the heart of our systems, look at this, let me show you. All in one system, Southern units, cabinet. What are you seeing here? The Hornet WD-5 pump again. This is again, the one package that I want to emphasize that it is found in so many applications within our portfolio. You have it in an only one like this. You have it in an echo package like the 800 gallon outside. You have it in a drum setup. You have it in a 55 gallon you know, setup. You have it in a tote setup as well. So I wanted to highlight this last just to show you, you know, this is, this is really the heart of our systems. We're proud of this pump. We make it extremely well. It's a workhorse. I mean, we have less than 1% return rate on these pumps. So I challenge anybody to put their pumps in situations like this and we haven't even got, you know, gotten to the best of it here so walk with me and I'll show you the what I call the icing on the cake on some of these pumps. Let's get out of here. And guess what? We're about to ship another tank. What do you see on there? The Hornet W85. Come with me. Alright guys, so Dylan, hey. good morning. You remember this guy from the last video. I asked him to join me. He pulled his accessories out. Mm -hmm. What do we got here? This simulates a 50-foot hose reel, DEF. This one is going to simulate a 25 standard hose reel for DEF. And that one is 100 feet for DEF. Can you believe that? The Hornet can push through all this stuff with no problems, guys. So that we have a separate video and we can certainly expand on that. But adding hose reels in those cabinets like we just you know showed you in the back and the only ones whether it's 50 feet 75 feet guess what you still find the Hornet w85 uh, pump right in there so again it is truly the heart of our systems so i challenge anybody else out there that can pump through a 100 foot hose reel and still give you plenty of gpms at the end I centrifugal right so our pump is certainly made a lot different so dylan hey i appreciate you joining me here I appreciate Thank you, you very much. Andy. I'm going to go show these guys a few more things and I'll be back later. Thank you. Toodles. Every benefit that we just discussed outside, you know, whether it's, you know, the suction lift, the length of hose that we can push through, uh, how the pump operates, that's all great and dandy, but let's get real. At the end of the day, it really boils down to, you know, the, the support behind the pump as well. So I want to highlight that, you know, that's extremely important to us as well. If something were to happen, uh, I want you to understand that you know the RMA process is simple, it's easy. We got folks here that are dedicated and passionate about helping you and troubleshooting and helping you know figure out what's wrong with the pump and get it up and running. So at the end of the day, that's extremely important. So Brian, why don't you join me for a second? Uh, th this is Brian. Uh, I want him to explain sort of how this whole process works on the support side of the system as well. So why don't we tell the viewers that? Brian? All right. So whenever we come into a problem with the pump, we can go ahead and call up to the front office. They'll create an RMA ticket, at which point they'll refer that back to me. I'll call the customer and make sure that we can get the proper fix for the problem that we're having. Because not all cases are the same. So I have to do certain things for some people and then other things for others. So we'll just make sure that we take care of you. We are here to take care of you. Okay, fantastic, I appreciate that, so thanks Brian. To wrap things up, uh, this pump, what it's going to do is it's gonna allow you to say more yes than no to your customers. Uh, I want this, this package to be able to give you more opportunities, to be able to give you a larger portfolio for your customers, to be able to say, yes, I can take this small package of a drum and transfer that and graduate it into a larger tank setup without having to purchase anything larger, bigger. We want something that's going to be heavy duty, something that's going to work for a you know a customer that may have five trucks and something that's going to work for a customer that may have 250 trucks. So anyway, that's what we're about. That's what the Calumet offers on the DEF Hornet W85 pump. And don't forget, stay tuned for number three, part three of this series, which is going to be troubleshooting. So what's happening with the pumps not coming on, things of that nature. So it's important for us to get that out there. You guys have been asking for it and we'll get part three out coming up your way. Thanks for watching.